All right, today we're gonna try paralyzed mode because during WDRC we're allocated a very small amount of time to um, practice. And if anybody crashes, we'll have to wait for everyone to land before we could go and retrieve our quads. And the field is large, so we don't wanna waste any time. What we want to do is be able to paralyze the quad that we're flying and well, where that we, we crashed and be able to plug in a new quad and fly right away. And I think a lot of people have used this during the team race and we're gonna try to set this up uh, and test it right now. So what we have is a quad that we plugged in. We're flying this quad and we crashed it. After we crash it, we're gonna do two things. One, go into the VTX menu and turn this HD0 VTX off. Second, we're going to activate paralyzed mode. So once we've activated paralyzed mode, we shouldn't be able to control this quad anymore, which is the case. And we should be able to plug in our second quad. So once we plug in our second quad, we should be able to just arm this one and fly without worrying about the other one, like so. And now we can finish the race, finish our practice session, and go retrieve all our quads all at once at the end of the of the session without you know wasting any time waiting for people to go grab their quads and and land, etc. Thank you. So let's plug in our quad and see what we have on our setup. So under the modes tab, we can see that there is a paralyze mode that we can enable. And what I did was to have two switches that activate paralyze mode. Uh, first of all, I want to have two switches because it's safer. Uh, you don't want to be, you know, paralyzing your quad accidentally while you're, you know, frantically trying to flip your quad or something. And um, so what I did was to use AUX4, which is my momentary switch, and AUX2, which is a switch on the other side of my controller. And with two fingers, uh, pushing two buttons, uh, we'll be able to enable paralyzed mode. And remember when we set this up, after we select these two. Okay, let's set it. Where let's actually set it up again. So we've got aux four, and then we've got aux two. And remember, we have to use the and operator, which means that it only activates only if both these switches are on. Alright, hope this helps and thank you for watching.